Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is lesson number 10 in the examination preparation series. And in this lesson, we continue with the properties of definite integrals. And as always, the five important points. And let's start with the lesson. Okay, so I'm planning to do a few important questions on this topic in this video as well as the next video so let's start with the question so the question is evaluate the integral 0 to pi x into tan x the whole divided by sec x plus tan x if you had watched the last videos you'll understand uh, we are using the property integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. And the last two videos we did some basic problems. And since you practice those problems, now you will find these problems very, very comfortable. So, it's in the form 0 to a. So, what I do is, I write the same limits and I replace x with a minus x and again tan pi minus x, the whole divided by sec pi minus x plus tan pi minus x. And I'll call the above one as equation number one and this one as equation number no 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 we have to simplify and then we can call it equation number two okay so tell me what is tan 180 minus x okay for those students who might have forgotten their class 10 and all i'll write that the answer is minus tan x because this is in the second quadrant and the second quadrant belongs to sine not of tan and sec pi minus x means 180 minus x, that is minus sec x. So you just plug in all those values. So we have pi minus x. This will be minus tan x. The whole divided by minus sec x minus tan x. So in the denominator, we have minus common. And in the numerator, we have a negative. So the end product will be i is equal to integral 0 to pi, pi minus x. I think you understood what I meant. In the denominator, negative is common. So it will become minus of sec x plus tan x. And in the numerator, we have a negative. So both those negatives will make it positive. The whole divided by sec x plus tan x okay so since we have simplified it's time to call it equation number two okay once more i'll tell you this is a video for students who have already watched the last two videos in the first video we discuss how the properties come the logic behind them and in the last video we do some basic problems and now we are ready for exam oriented problems or some little bit harder questions okay now what we do is we're going to add equation 1 and 2 so I'll show you equation 1 I'll put a box so that you can check it out okay so I plus I yeah 2i and they share the same integral limits now I'll write the first one this thing so x into tan x by sec x plus tan x isn't it yeah and now i'll write this one to be honest i had to write like this but uh, i told you you can just combine and write the next one pi minus x tan x by sec x plus tan x total dx now i think you can see a common factor i'll put some different colors so that you can 
see that clearly so in the next step i can write 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi so look at this this yellow quantity will come common so i can write tan x by sec x plus tan x and the remaining part will be x in the first term and pi minus x in the second term okay so x and x will get cancelled pi is a constant so i'm going to put it outside so we get 2i is equal to pi times 0 to pi um, tan x by I hope you are doing the problems along with me that will be the most effective method you can pause the video whenever you want but make sure you work out the problems along with us okay now look at this this is a very basic question which you are supposed to learn in class 11 um, I'll give you a hint uh, there are many methods to solve but one simple method is um, we remember the formula a minus b times a plus b what's that a square minus b square and the second thing we remember is sec x plus tan x times sec x minus tan x gives you sec square x minus tan square x and that is equal to yeah one um, so what we do is a very simple thing we multiply the numerator and the denominator uh, do you remember the last video i gave you one promise once you add the two integrals and simplify you will be able to apply an integration method which you learned in your younger classes maybe in class 11 or maybe in class 12 or maybe in some other course which you did but you will be able to integrate so what i do is a very simple thing i multiply the numerator and denominator by sec x minus tan x because i know that when i do this the denominator is going to become one so i'll write the simplified version so that will be integral 0 to pi i told you pi will be outside and the numerator is tan x times and i'm going to forget about the denominator why think about it yeah the denominator is one yeah okay now let's open the bracket so we get 2i is equal to pi times integral 0 to pi sec x into tan x minus tan square x again you need a basic formula to integrate tan square x so we integrate tan square x by converting it into sec square because we know that tan square x is x square x minus 1 yeah that's it now i'll ask a few questions what is the derivative of tan x what is the derivative of tan x yeah sec square x so what will be integral sec square x of course tan x so you are able to integrate this thing now my second question is what is the derivative of sec x yeah that is sec x into tan x so what will be the integral of sec x into tan x yeah sec x so we are ready for integration so i am going to write 2i is equal to pi times okay sec x tan x the integral is sec x minus sec square x becomes tan x and minus 1 becomes x within the limit 0 to pi okay i hope you understood sec x tan x sec square x and this okay now let's put upper limit minus lower limit everywhere so here we will get sec pi uh, minus sec 0 minus tan pi minus tan 0 you can do it differently but i always love to put upper limit and lower limit together yeah. so we get 2i is equal to 
pi times sec pi is minus 1. You can use the calculator because in the calculator you will see the reciprocal function cos. And then you take the reciprocal. Minus 1 minus tan 180 degree. Yeah, that is 0. Minus 0. Yeah, there is 1 minus pi. So we end up with 2. So we end up with 2i is equal to pi times, this will become pi minus 2. So the answer is i is equal to pi by 2 times pi minus 2. Okay, let's move ahead. Uh, let's try another question. Okay, one question for you. Um, try this and if you are confused, you can ask me in the comment box. Okay, the question is evaluate the integral x sec x by sec x plus tan x. It's similar and the answer is pi. I want you to do this question right now. Pause the video, do this question and then join with me in the next question. And please mark the next question a bit important. So the next question is evaluate the integral 0 to pi. It's the same pattern but it's not the same. x tan x by sec x plus cos x. So clearly the conjugate method will not work. The conjugate method worked because we know that the denominator will become 1. So this question is different. But the one I gave you for homework is not different because you can multiply by the conjugate at the last and then you will be able to integrate. Okay, so let's proceed. And I think you can start yourself. So I'll call it equation number 1 and I don't want to waste your time. So when you simplify, when you apply the property, I'm just going to give a hint. You're going to do it yourself. If you are not able to do it yourself, that means you have to pause the video and play it from the beginning. Yeah. So what we do is we'll replace this with pi minus x. And we get tan pi minus x that is negative, sec pi minus x that is negative, cos pi minus x that is negative of the same thing. So eventually, once you simplify, you're going to get the same thing, but the numerator will contain pi minus x. And in the exam, in case they ask this question, don't skip steps. Okay, now what we do is we add them up. And when we add them up, you can show those steps. The limits are same. What happens is this x and pi minus x will get cancelled and you'll, the pi will be the remaining part. So basically, you're going to get something like 0 to pi tan x by sec x plus cos x. Now I'll start with this. And I'll repeat once more. If you are not able to do till this step, then you're not good with this topic. So start watching from lesson number 9 or lesson number 8 and practice a lot. Yeah, okay. So we have 2i is equal to pi times integral 0 to pi. Okay, now look at this. I already told you the multiply and that conjugate multiplication will not work. This multiplying by sec x minus tan x will not work because it's not going to give you 1. So what we do is we do another trick. We convert everything into sine and cos. So the numerator becomes sine x by cos x, the whole divided by yeah, 1 by cos x plus cos x. And now let's go for LCM. And you will end up with integral 0 to pi sin x the whole divided by 1 plus cos square x dx. Okay, now that's good because I can see the function and derivative. Whenever you see a function and derivative, the method is obvious. You have to do substitution. So I'm going to put cos x is equal to t. 
so that minus sin x dx will be equal to dt and that means sin x dx is equal to minus dt. Now we have to do one more thing. The variable is x. So this limit belongs to x. But I am transferring the variable into another person. That is a new variable t. So let's change the limit. So what's the value of t? Yeah, t is equal to cos x. Now look at the lower limit. Uh, when x equal to 0, I'll write like this. When x equal to 0, t will be cos 0 and cos 0 is 1. Now look at the upper limit. Yeah, when x equal to pi, t will be cos pi and cos pi is minus 1. So let's substitute. We need the key steps are, we'll put star and the limits. So we get 2i is equal to pi times now the limit belongs to t 1 to minus 1 i think you saw that 0 became 1 and pi became minus 1 and now look at this sin x dx the numerator the sin x dx is going to become minus dt whole divided by 1 plus cos x becomes t so this will be t square so 2i is equal to uh, i'm going to flip the limits i'm going to write the upper limit as the lower limit and the lower limit as the upper limit and you learn the properties if you flip the limits the answer will become negative and negative of negative will be positive so that's it that negative disappears okay now i'll ask one simple question what is the derivative of tan inverse x i hope you remember 1 by 1 plus x square great so integration of 1 by 1 plus x square is tan inverse x so there we go so 2i is equal to tan inverse t within the limits minus 1 to 1 and i think pi is over here i was about to forget pi yeah so 2i is equal to pi times tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse minus 1 that means 2i is equal to pi times pi by 4 minus minus pi by 4 so simplifying this we get the answer to be pi by 4 plus pi by 4 that is pi by 2 and simplify again you get pi square by 4 okay so i hope you're okay with this okay anyway i want i had to write one more thing very important thing tan inverse minus x is minus tan inverse x some of you might need that point okay so i'll stop the video right now it was a very small video but these problems are important and i'll be back with the next video very soon and we'll discuss more important problems in the properties and after that we'll move towards improper integrals so till then bye